Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomadi. In this video, we will understand how to create a progress window in Business Central. Okay, uh, you can tell it, call it as a progress bar, progress indicator or a progress window, whatever it may be. So basically, what is a progress window or a progress bar or a progress indicator? It is used to display a progress. Okay, it will tell you like something is progressing. For example, there will be a, a window like structure. It will tell it will tell us like it is loading. Okay, the progress is like this. Likewise, we can create a progress bar on uh, in Business Central. Okay, so we will see two examples like how we can create it. Okay, I'm just directly going to create uh, the progress window in the actions. Okay, so let us write the action name as a progress bar progress bar or progress indicator progress window whatever it may be okay so in the caption we will write it as progress window so as usual application area is equal to all and if i can create give give some image uh, images there is no progress i think okay progress is not a valid thing so i can create some image okay action something okay and in trigger i'm just going to uh, add some uh, value to this so i want some so progress um colon dialogue okay dialogue progress window okay even we have pro we don't have the code in it like that window dialogue okay dialogue uh, we have okay and uh, the count we can have the count as integer like how what what is the count you wanted to see okay and message that is a progress message something like that you wanted to show it like this okay so label and you can just make it as processing okay you can use this okay and inside the begin and uh, thing this is where we are just to start uh, we should start working on it okay okay so here what we are going to do right is what i'm going to write a, a simple code first one is i'll be clearing the counter because you know uh, when i start counting something like uh, initially once the tr uh, action is executed again if it get inside so the trigger should be uh, uh, reinitiated that is it's the value for the counter should be count should be cleared okay so i'm just uh, writing the code for this okay and the next one is i'm just going to write the uh, check if gui interactions are allowed okay so for that i'm just going to use if not gui allowed okay so if not gui allowed then exit <coughs> fine and this what it will do is what it will check if gui interactions are allowed okay if not the trigger will exit got it and next one is i'm just going to use progress window dot open okay what it should open it should open the progress window message so what is the progress window i have it's a dialog box okay so uh no it should open the message okay it will open open the message like it's processing okay it will display the processing it will open the uh, label here so this particular um, code what it will do is it will opens the progress dialog with a specified message then i am creating a counter here what it will happen is this loop will stimulate a process uh, that it will show you that this particular processing is happening and it will update the counter okay and it will pass the execution for some time okay so let me just go ahead with that 100 do begin so begin progress window dot progress window so what i'm going to do is what i'm going to use an update function okay progress window dot update okay and inside the update so this is actually a number i have to use a number and i have to tell the count okay so what happens here it will do it will just try to work on this and the sleep function sleep function is used to make you wait for 50 so if i give 50 it will wait for 50 milliseconds if i give 100 it will wait for 100 milliseconds okay it's a milliseconds okay and then finally i'm just trying to close this okay dot dot close 
okay so why should i give this close this closes the progress dialog after this loop completes once the loop completes it will wait for 100 seconds 100 milliseconds or you can just make it into 70 and once it is done so it will just exit the loop so finally what does this code is actually telling us is what this code exactly defines an action when trigger when triggered so i have written that in the trigger on action okay displays a progress dialog box this will display a progress dialog box with a loading indicator so this will be indicating there the dial the dialog is updated with the progress information while simulating a processing task okay why do we need this processing task and all in order to tell the user that something is happening okay now uh, you can see that if I execute this code, it is showing some error. See, if you are uh, trying like this, then you have to understand what is the error. This is, we call it as a runtime error. Okay. Why? Because there is no syntax uh, syntax error here. So, it is showing the runtime error. I will just show you what is the runtime error it is showing. Okay. fine if i just go and click here progress window it is showing you the error that no parameter with index one was found in the format string processing okay which is that we are trying to execute we what is the exact output we know we need is what it should show as processing and near the processing it should show as the value right that is one two three four five six seven eight some value should display but actually in my code what i have did is what i have just given here processing dot 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 but what it has to display i have to tell that right so in order to add that what i'll be doing is i'll be adding hash one okay let us just try to execute this and see what it is creating okay what it is showing so hash one which means that it has to display some uh, uh, that is the uh, that is a number which is which is processing there got it so let me just show you like what it is how it is working now okay let us see how it is working now so the uh, the error if it shows some error try to debug it okay if you click progress window now you can see it is processing right okay because since we are trying to show some value over there we have to tell that okay this is what this is how it has to prog process okay so in order to add that you are using a hash one okay so if you want to display the exact value there you will be using an ampersand right if you wanted to show something like if you wanted to display uh, that some um, incremented value is happening like like this now whatever we saw we have you have to use a hash one got it so this is how it will work okay it will open and it will work like this got it and if you want to do uh, uh, create something else like like we you have other progress indicator as well if you want to see how other progress indicator works so please leave your comment i'll definitely help you out and you can use this progress window in the report as well so if you want to see how it can be used in the report please message it i will definitely help you out thank you take care and bye bye